you got in there now? Rocks. What? Can't hear you. It's nearly done. What's your problem? No problem. How are you? Death store. Oh, lighten up. How'd you sleep? Not a wink. So much to do. Well, relax. There's lots of time. Uh, do you want some? There's plenty. Yeah, it's got, it's got blueberries and ginger and turmeric. Sounds delicious. <laughs> the recipe called for Brussels sprouts, but that was a bridge too far. Still, boosts the immune system. Make the most of the time that I have left. Well, Mum, about that. Treatment could give you more time. Worth all of us. We could go on a family holiday, just closer to home. Yeah, yeah, I'll think about that uh, while we're out. Out where? We're going to the park if you want to come. All right, little man. Should we go and get some fresh air? Ready when you are. Let's go. Have fun. See you soon. Do you think I got through to work? Mr. Edgley? Office room. Has he got a watch? Two HCAs on rotation. All right, thanks, Dad. Hey, his mate in cubicle three is a bit borderline too. Copy. Have you considered a non-surgical approach? I still think surgery is the best option. Do what you want, Dad. That's it. What? I just expected you to put up more of a fight. Choosing my battles. Everything okay? Yeah, you'd think I'd be better at reading his moods by now. Um, does he know about... About? You know. I'm admitting, Mrs. Lalke. Fair enough. You can relax. He doesn't know. Okay. Thanks for caring. I'll be back in a minute. Mr. Kerr, I'm sorry about the weight. Let's have a look at that laceration. Piss off. Oh, would you like me to treat them or not? No. Okay, well, that's fine by me. You got another one for detox? Yes, please. Hey, mate, look, let's take a walk, eh? Yeah, I'll treat that for you once you've sobered up a bit. Screw you. Better go right now. You want me to call the cops? Is that what you want? Come on, mate. Come on. Let's get it. Let's go. The fun never stops. Don't you know it? You OK? Yeah, that was nothing. Thanks for caring. What have we got? Oh, just more drunks pouring at you, are <laughs> But she's amazing. Here's a practice. <laughs> OK? Yeah, nothing to see here. Great. My passion? Yes, Mr. Lennox in recess, a suspected spinal injury. Got it. Oh, hang on. What? Just straightening you out, so to speak. Thank you. My pleasure. Apparently, ashwagandha is a miracle herb. Ah, oh, yes, I've heard of that. Mm, very big in Ayurvedic healing. Been around for donkeys, so... Must be something in it. Right, are there some peer-reviewed articles to back that up? Nick? Does the experience of millions of people over thousands of years count for nothing with you? Maybe, if there's science behind it. Darling, modern Western medicine can do nothing for me. I've accepted that. There are still treatment options out there that could extend your life. Can't kill me. No, but I would like as much time with you as I can get. We all would. I've been poked and prodded enough for one lifetime. Thank you. Can I please eat in peace? Yeah, let's just have a nice lunch, OK? Sure. Oh, Chris! Chris, come and join us. Come on. <laughs> We're underway here already. Bring up a chair and, and order. Now, I am thinking I might get a big buttery Chardonnay if I can tempt you. <laughs> Seriously? Well, why don't you have one too? Take the edge off that attitude. Oh, goodness sake, it is one glass of wine. What harm can it possibly do me now? Mum has just found out. I'm dying, Chris. So, sit down and have lunch with me. Hi, Nicole. Thank you for coming. Uh, I shouldn't stay long. Esther won't be happy if she sees me hanging around. This won't take long. I'm sorry that Mum sprung that on you. I, um, I want you to look at her scans. There doesn't seem to be any point. If you could just check, please. I mean, there 
there might be something. Mum is desperate. She's talking about miracle herbs and Ayurvedic healing. She just wants to know that there might be a chance. I can't make any promises, but... Uh... Thank you. Why the face? She has faith in Chris. She trusts him. If there's anything that he can do to help her, she'll listen to him. Maybe. He could add months to her life. Is that what Liam wants, Nick? Is that what you want? Well, I want as much time with her as I can get. Don't you? Yes, of course I do. It's just, it's, it's a big ask, physically. Yeah, well, it won't be a walk in the park. But if it gives us any more time with her family time, you know, proper time while she's still herself, before the pain relief is so strong it takes her away from us. Just don't build your hopes up too high, okay? She knows her own mind. If anyone can help her, Chris can. Come here. Can you organise the transfer? e will operate, but I'll check in on her beforehand. Great. When are you back in surgery? Oh, God, soon, I hope. Mm. I hate being stuck on the sideline. I hear you. Oh, Phil. Oh, yours? You can't keep doing that. What? We have to work together. Yeah, I thought we were working together brilliantly. You are bored and stirring. Guilty. So it's got to stop. We both have partners. Yeah, but my partner knows that attraction doesn't just stop because you're in a relationship. Does yours? That is not the point. When I'm in the ED, I need to be able to concentrate on the patients. So whatever this is, it can't get in the way of patient safety ever. Understood. But just so you know, I don't know what this is either. But I promise I'll be professional at work. Good. <laughs>